Hey everyone, I don't have any highlighter on today because I want to try on live with you guys some of the highlighter colors from this Huda Beauty Winter Highlighter Palette. It says it is a highlighter palette, melted cream and powder, luxury blend of light reflecting pearls, buildable glow, effortless blendability. Yes, sounds wonderful to me. And I also want to try out with you guys some of these from the Winter Solstice Collection Lip Strobe Minis. These are little mini lip strobes. They are pretty intense, and I'll try those out for you. But first, let's get some highlighter on. This is such a neat package. I love how they made it extra strobey on her cheek there. That is really cool. It seems like I'm just doing so much Huda Beauty right now. Huda Beauty, Huda Beauty, Huda Beauty. They're just coming out with some really cool stuff. So when you first open this, you get this neat picture of her with a crown on right there on your as a top cover and then you have the four shades so this one here is a cream frosted kiss is a cream product the rest of them are powder products this color on the skin is just about the most gorgeous thing I think I've ever seen in cosmetics ever so what we're gonna do I'm gonna swatch these for you and then I'm going to apply some of it to the skin so what they recommend is that you put this Frosted Kiss on as a base, a cream base on your skin before you put the powders on top to give them an extra pop. Here's the Frosted Kiss. So I don't have any powder on my cheeks right now. I just have on, um, I have all my contour stuff on and in place, but I'm gonna put this on top. I don't have any setting powder. This next color is gold and it's called Northern Lights. It's a very bright chartreuse yellow gold. We have Winter Rose. I just love that name. Just love that name. This is Winter Rose right here. It is a strong, flashing, bright pink duochrome. And then, wait until you see this Arctic Glow. It is the most gorgeous thing I've ever seen. Look at that. But my gosh, would you look at that. It is so blue. I want to put this cream frosted kiss on first and then I want to put the winter rose on top of that. Just going to dot this on with my finger. It is a very slippery slick. It's not like a cream um, cheek product, a cream blush or anything like that. It is very wet. So I don't know how this is going to play with my foundation. I'm using a Clinique foundation today. Okay, it's not dissolving it, really. It does give a lot of color. Okay, it is It is sort of picking it up right there. There's a bare spot right there. Um, hopefully, this will look nice when I have the powder product on top. I am not a fan of cream highlighters because they just tend to do this. They tend to just eat my foundation. On my eyes today, I'm wearing the um, palette from Too Faced, the Too Faced I Want Candy palette. And on my lips, I'm wearing Clinique, um, Clinique Pop Lip Color plus Primer in Beige Pop. Okay, not too bad. It's kind of very subtly pretty. I have a big like fingerprint right in the middle there where it ate through my foundation. Didn't really eat through my foundation too bad over here. Let's put a powder on top. And if I am very, very brave, toward the end of this video, I will put some of this Arctic Glow on top of everything else. How about that? I'm using a new Morphe brush. I'd never had a Morphe brush before, but I got this. Um, they have a new display of them at Ulta, and I'm dying to kind of just run up there right now and buy some more. These are like five bucks, four bucks, six bucks, something like that. A nice fan brush for your highlighters. I love it so far. I bought another one that's sort of a chisel um, eyeliner. I really like it. Okay, Winter Rose. Here we go. Winter Rose. Can you see how rose that is? It's like intense. Huda Beauty is going crazy right now. Oh my. Okay, it's, it's intense. It is um, bright pink. As you knew, it would be. Oh my gosh. <laughs> It's powing right there. I think I need, I just need some of that blue on there later. After we do the lip strobes, we'll put some blue on there. Now I have to say that with that cream product underneath, it doesn't seem to be emphasizing the pores and the texture on my cheek on either side. It's kind of like floating above 
the pores and the texture and the roughness of my cheeks right there. So that is something to think about. That's kind of giving it something to stick to rather than the texture of your skin. So I'm liking that so far. Beautiful, gorgeous colors. Really, this is an intense highlighter palette. This is not one of your super natural looking highlighter palettes that's just got some champagne and a gold, natural skin tone looking stuff, maybe a little bit of a light pink. It's just more out there. Okay, when I got this little mini lip strobe kit the other day, I was just kind of blown away by the intensity of these. You do get four little mini products. These are not the full size, of course. Colors are Charmed, Bewitched, Starcrossed, and Hypnotic. <laughs> Okay, they're so cute, and but what I wasn't kind of expecting was that they're all sort of a milky base, a milky white base, and then they have the different crystalline sort of duochrome aspects to them. Each one is a different, um, has a different duochrome sort of glitter. This one has a blue glitter. This is Bewitched. This one has more of a light gold or silvery glitter, star-crossed. This one is hypnotic. It has a bright um, purple glitter. And then this has a pink glitter. This one's called Charmed. So I'm going to put each of these on and you're just gonna be shocked at how intense they are. Crazy blue one, Bewitched. These are very liquidy, very liquidy. It's not gonna be a lacquer or anything like that. These are definitely best, I think, as a lip topper. I will put them on my uh, bare lips as well. Look at that. Okay, hold on, that's a blue lip gloss right there. Okay. Now see, it's not too bad if you put it on just kind of lightly as a lip topper. You know, I'm kind of really liking it. <laughs> Here's what this one looks like on the skin, bare skin. It is very blue, yes it is. Goes well with that Arctic Frost highlighter, doesn't it? Next is Star Crossed. It is a light, sort of just a frosty frost. I mean, there's kind of, I guess it's kind of silvery glitter in there. There's the silver one, just sort of a frost. It's a white frost. <laughs> kind of yellowish golden. That one's pretty. That one is really wearable. And there it is. It's kind of a little golden, little yellowy golden. They're very liquidy. I can't see these lasting very long on the lips, unfortunately. Next, we have an intensely purple one called Hypnotic. Purple. It's like a hot, hot, hot pink purple. Very pink, very pretty. And finally, Charmed. This is sort of a lighter pink frost in this one. I like that one. That's pretty. So what I'm going to do, I think, is take my lipstick off and show you guys what this looks like by itself with maybe just a liner. So for instance, this is crazy. It's bright, isn't it? This is a, uh, I just have a NYX lip liner pencil on called Prune, and then I just put this uh, hypnotic one on, the one that's intensely purple, purple. Now I'm just having fun. This is the <laughs> charmed one, the one that's pink. Okay, let's be extra brave and put some of this Arctic glow on just because, oh my, it's just so gorgeous. Okay, are we ready? Oh my God, <laughs> it's blue. Yes, it's blue, let's see. Let's try to work it in a little bit here. Probably a little much for me, but I do think on this palette that this um, cream base is really, it's really helpful. It somehow smooths your skin out and makes it just look less um, rugged and rough and, you know, old. I think it really, it really does something for you. And I think if you pat it in place very carefully, like I did, you won't get too much disturbance of your foundation. I think this Northern Lights is a little green for me, but I do like the other two colors. I don't know that I could ever wear this out. I mean, I just would feel kind of funny, but it's a, it's a pretty palette if you want some out there, out there highlighters. Coming up, I'm about to do my second haul for 20% off for Rouges at Sephora. Uh, I added a bunch of stuff since I did the video on my suggestions for 20% off day. So I have a lot of stuff on the way. So thanks once again for watching and I'll see you next time.